Hey guys, I just want to do a quick overview on this American Rotary phase converter. Uh, now, to be honest, going into this, I didn't really know much about three-phase power, didn't really fully understand it, didn't understand how phase converters worked, did a lot of research, found that I could build my own if I found all the parts and pieces, but it was a little more complex than what I really wanted to take on. I'm not the best at electricity, and this right here really simplified everything. I'm going to pull the cover off here and we'll take a look inside and kind of go over how it all works in a simplified version that, that I can understand. So this is the inside of it. I know it looks a little scary and it is pretty complicated, but the, the hooking it up and using it is very easy. So it comes fully put together just like this, obviously minus the wires coming in and hooked up. So I already had a breaker in my panel that was from a dryer that we had upstairs from before we remodeled. So I used this power here on this breaker, came in out of here with this H gauge wire. So your panel power comes in here, both legs, and then your ground also off the bus bar comes in, grounds right there. Then what happens, this is my motor right here, this wire. So it comes in and hooks in leg one here, leg two here, leg three here. So the motor hooks into this side, all three wires grounded there to that ground lug right there. Then, and we'll walk out there and look at the motor here in a minute. And then my power coming out to this, pa this separate panel that I put in here. Nice and simple. Power from that panel comes out leg one and two here. It's where you get your panel or your power from there. And then your third leg comes out right there out of that little bus bar. So power in leg one and two as well as power out one and two. Power out to the motor one and two here as well as leg three from the motor and power out from the third phase also comes from here. That's it. It's pretty simple. Comes out, comes out to this button right here. We'll put it back together and turn it on. So here it is all buttoned back up. Nice, simple box hanging on the side of the wall. So whenever you're ready to use it, I leave mine powered off. Um, don't know if that actually helps the capacitor of life or not. That's what I do. Power it on. Give it just a few seconds. Let the capacitors get all charged up. That's it. We're making three phase power. You might be able to vaguely hear the, the motor spinning outside. There we go. Making power. We'll walk outside and look at the motor setup as well. So this is my setup here. We were just inside the garage right there, and so I just brought my wire through this through this dryer vent hole that was already here. I ran it down, and what I did was I mounted my my motor on this concrete pad right here. Went ahead and moved it outside because it does make a little bit of noise sitting inside. Um, it's not bolted down tight. I put this rubber underneath it to help with vibration and these are tightened up just enough to hold the motor from from really walking around. Then I just made this little cover right here with some air vent holes out of some one by and some some leftover metal. It sits out here next to my generator. That's it. Gets it out of the weather for the most part and keeps, keeps the sound out of the garage. So all in all, I'm very pleased with, with my uh, American Rotary AD model 10 horse phase converter. Simple, easy to use, easy to hook up, runs great, haven't had any issues at all.